Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. We are going to measure the Lebanon cedar today together and we're going to see how tall it is and then we'll kind of, I'm going to guess that it's going to grow at least half of this size this year and then we'll measure it again in the fall and then we will see how much it's actually grown this year and we'll keep track on this little ruler. Hopefully my pencil will work on it and then I'll write the today's date and then I'll put this <laughs> this little plastic ruler that my kids haven't ever touched <laughs> back in the garage where they never mess with it and then we'll pick it up again in the fall so let's see how tall this little tree is and the candles are almost completely all opened up except for the ends here at the top and there's a couple other sections where they haven't fully opened so we're gonna just kind of stick it down here and it looks like oh, this side might be better it looks like it's about whoops <laughs> it looks like it's about so there's 12 inches there so and we'll, if we put it up here so we're looking like about 11 or no 13 and um, about 13 inches just a little bit over 13 inches so I'm going to it's kind of hard to mark it with my my hand here so it's right here is the mark so 13 inches and and a little bit over 13 inches there so 13 and a fourth so um, so yeah so that's about the height of the tree right now and it grew I'm wanting to say 10 inches last year which sounds about right it was about three inches tall when the season began last spring and um, it grew from the seed the summer before that so we had a lot of growth last year and that's really really encouraging so we'll see how much more it grows this year it is in a new pot this year um, it's been in this pot for about six months now I repotted it in the fall because it is an evergreen so it never goes dormant <laughs> so that's how my little Lebanon cedar is looking and it's putting on the new growth we did have a little bit of the needles die on it and I guess that's just to be expected um, certain areas if they're just not as healthy you just you know clip them out and so far everything's looking good I think the dead section there was a little dead section right there where that gap was but for the most part it's a very very healthy tree and it's probably one of my favorite non-edible trees in my yard and I don't have very many of those. Um, I like to have very useful trees but I do love trees that are beautiful to look at too um, and flower shrubs and that sort of thing. So but for the most part I tend to have a lot of edibles and um, so once we get our homestead all established and everything and we're not renting anymore I will probably be adding to my love of um, I, what I like to call them are beautifiers <laughs> and they just kind of add to your household and so <clears throat> that's what's going on today um, and everything is looking good so I, I suspect that it's going to grow at least another 10 inches this year so based on the growth from last year so we we will see you guys we'll come back um, sometime in September or October of this year and we'll measure it again and I will keep you guys updated anyways have a wonderful day thanks for coming along comment like and subscribe and click that bell button as always have a wonderful day and God bless bye